So our economists did call for pause, so hats off to them. They were on the right side of that 50-50 split that you <laughs> alluded to in terms of the consensus. Um, we do look for a hike in August, so again, a skip, not uh, the end of the hiking cycle as such. And as a result, the statement kind of affirms that. But it just goes to show that it's really, really difficult for central banks to figure out when they've done enough. Mm -hmm. And the RBA is one of the central banks that is in the process of trying to, to do just that. Do you think they're close to hitting their terminal rate? We think so. Um, if you look at uh, the underlying price pressures, they are looking to ease. Um, we do obviously have a big uh, mortgage reset story in Australia as well that will hopefully do some of the um, RBA's job for them in terms of actually accelerating the pass through of those higher rates into the real economy. So yes, we do think that we are closer to the uh, end, of course. Yeah. And do you have a view on the rates curve in Australia, what you're advising clients to um, do here? Given what the market is, well, was pricing going into the meeting, we did flag the, the risk of or the chance of a bit more of a steepening, at least compared to what other markets have been doing of late. And I'm sure you'll ask me about the curve inversions that we're seeing elsewhere. Um, and that is a view that we continue to, uh, to hold. We think that um, given the rate sensitivity, sensitivity of the Australian economy, there is a chance that ultimately the market will be forced to price in faster rate cuts than maybe elsewhere. Well, let's move on to the U.S. And, and the yield inversion we've seen there, because I think one of the big um, conundrums that investors are thinking about right now is that you've got a, the yield curve in the U.S. signaling a recession is coming at the same time that equities are incredibly resilient, reaching new highs and technology doing extremely well. What is the yield curve telling us in the U.S.? And do you think it's appropriately priced here? Um, I think the the biggest thing that the yield curve is telling us is that people have been in the wrong trades. Mm. Um, so we've had a lot of longs, in particular in the front end of the curve, as people have positioned for that. Well, I don't know whether positioning is the right word for the recession or hedging that recession risk. So one way in which you could square that you know, this dichotomy between what the equity market is telling us and what the rates market is telling us is that um, the rates market is the preferred way of trying to hedge your risk asset mm. exposures, be they in equity or in credit. So people have been along the front end, there have been steepness and those trades have obviously been under pressure because the Fed is now telling us as well that they're being forced to do more. So these trades are being capitulated on and as a result we reach new record levels of inversion. Is, if we look at it in a bit more detail, we wouldn't actually argue that it's a recession risk as such that is being priced. What the market is pricing is a, a very aggressive uh, end to the inflation story that we've been worrying about. So it's, it's much more driven by what the break-even market is pricing about inflation than it is driven by what the real rate market is pricing in about growth. So it looks like an extreme recession risk is being priced, but actually once you look under the hood, it's, mm. it's a much more nuanced story.